Hello everyone, Tom here from HG Network and today I'm showing you guys how to set up and install custom cars into your guys' HTNFW server. Really straightforward and simple and it is really not too difficult to do. First things first, obviously, is make sure you've got yourself a nice custom car to install that obviously is not a part of the HTNFW package because what's the point in watching this tutorial otherwise? That's all done automatically for you. So to install your own custom car, make sure you open up your browser and find a good mods website. As always, take care when installing mods. Not all of them are safe no matter what website you use, not necessarily safe. But I'm using GTA5mods.com. Find yourself a 5M ready vehicle. Just go onto GTA5mods.com and search 5M or whatever website you're using. Just make sure it is 5M ready. Find yourself a nice vehicle and then we're going to download it. I'm going to be doing this guy right here, the Bugatti Bolide. I'm just going to click download. I'm going to download the mod. From here, navigate into your mods folder. Go into 5M and look for the 5M resource. You'll know it's the 5M resource because inside of the first folder will be a underscore underscore resource dot Lua or an FX manifest dot Lua. That's how you know that the folder this contains is contained by will be the folder you put in your 5M server. If your mod creator doesn't make it very clear, just contact your mod creator for support on that one or install a different mod. In terms of HG network support, we can't necessarily support third party mods if they do cause issues or they're not very well documented. So to install the mod itself, you're going to want to navigate to your htnfw server folder. Open the folder on up. We're going to go into server data. We're going to go into resources. And we're going to right click. We're going to create a new folder. We're going to do a bracket. And we're just going to do custom. And we're going to do vehicles. And we'll do a closing bracket. Make sure you don't have any spaces since your subcategory folders cannot have spaces. Copy that folder name. Come back on into the server data folder, open your server.cfg on up, and we're going to insure it. We're going to press enter under insure HDM vendors, and we're going to type insure, and then paste that folder name. File and save. We can close our server.cfg on down. We're going to go back into our resources folder, back into that new folder we just made, custom vehicles. We're going to grab our 5M ready custom vehicle and drag and drop it in. From here, what you're going to want to do is grab the spawn code. So go inside of the stream folder of that custom vehicle that you're installing and look for the stream code. So that's gonna be this guy right here, the one, the name before the .yft file. You'll notice that all the files will be called the same besides the file type. That's because that is the spawn code or the spawn name, whatever you wanna use, but that is what we need to enter into our config files. So there's only one thing we need to enter into our config files and it's really straightforward and that's so it appears in the dealership. If you don't even want it to appear in the dealership, we're done. You can load in game, use the admin menu, and spawn the vehicle using that spawn code Wallide. But we're going to add it in to our vehicle tuner shop, which is where all the custom vehicles go. If you weren't aware, custom vehicles go into the tuner shop, and GTA 5 default vehicles go into the showroom vehicle shop. So to grab the tuner shop, we're going to go into HDN add ons. Make sure you do have the tuner shop installed with the HG network application. Go into the tuner shop folder, go into config, open the config.lua on up with any notepad or text reader. I use Visual Studio. And you're going to want to simply add it into this big long list of vehicles. Really straightforward and easy. So we're going to go right to the bottom. We're going to copy the last line. I'm going to press enter and we're going to paste that last line. So we've got a nice little duplicate here so we know exactly what we're entering is correct. We're going to grab the spawn code to begin with. I'm going to edit that spawn code right here. You can see S code means spawn code. We're going to edit the name. We're going to do, of course, the name of the vehicle file. I'm just going to copy and paste it from Google, I believe. Makes my life easier. And we'll just replace that since obviously it's not a Ford Raptor anymore. 2020 Bugatti Bolide. And the price is going to be worth a lot more than 145,000. We'll do 2 million. And then obviously it's up to you on what class you want it to be. It really doesn't make too much of a difference. Obviously look at the vehicles to get an idea of what class means what. Obviously a LaFerrari is in X class. So I'm going to put this vehicle in X class because I would say a Bugatti Bolide is probably the same class as a LaFerrari. So we'll put it into X class and that is it. We're done. We can file, save. We can close everything on down, start the server on up and load in game and spawn in that new custom vehicle. Once you've loaded in game, you can either spawn the car by pressing F10 
to open your admin menu, go to stuff commands and spawn vehicle and simply type in that spawn code. So for us, it was bolide and we click spawn, give it a couple of minutes and you should see the car will spawn in straight away. There's no need to add anything in to a shared file like there is on other frameworks like ESX and Cubicle. The admin menu will automatically see the car in the server. No config files needed for that one. Say for example, you wanted to buy it from the tuner shop. First of all, make sure you have the tuner role by using this command right here, slash set job, then the player ID, tuner underscore shop for the job, and then six for the highest rank, that being the people who can actually buy the cars from the tuner shop. So to actually purchase a car, Come on over here to the tuner shop location, which is right by the airport. It's called Bad Boy Customs. It's a little purple car on the map. And come on over to the back. That's the entrance right there. Come on over to the back and come to this laptop right here. Interact with it using your third eye. So hold Alt on this laptop and click View Tuner Catalog. And you should see, as long as you select the correct class, ours is X, right here is the Bugatti. Boom, just like that. Now you will notice that we have no image. That's because we haven't set one. So all you need to do is take a screenshot in game of the car or a nice little picture, whatever you want to do, and then come on over to the to your shop location, go in to UI, then images, simply put an image in here with the exact same file name of the car. So again, it's the spawn code, so bolide. Put the image in here, call it that, and boom. Restart the server and it will automatically pick up that image for the script. Really straightforward. It's an easy and really customizable without the need of knowing advanced code. So that is how you add a custom vehicle into your guys' HTNFW server.